Are we recording? Oh, cool, we are. <clears throat> I'm the trash woman. I eat garbage. Ah. Uh, hey. I get a Patreon request to try out something very similar to Veronica Payne's House the Board Adventure game, and hell yeah, let's give it a shot. I believe it's called The Gluttonous Life. And yeah, let's get this open and give it a shot, because I do not know what I'm expecting in the slightest. I'm hoping it's not a virus. Oh, well, hello there, um, kneecap-looking objects. Okay, quick, do that little zoomy zoom thing. Now then, I don't know what I'm in store for here. So, let's give it a shot. <laughs> of course it will be censored for a bit, and there will be a preview of it where you're probably watching it on YouTube now, with the full version then on my Patreon. Non paywalled, of course, just to get that out of the way. There may be censored words or stuff like that, but you know where to find it where it won't be. Alright, let's drop the act. <clears throat> Before we begin, let us establish the basics. How fast should predators digest you on average? Do note that digestion speed will still vary between species. Hmm. Uh, let's guess let's keep things default. If I set to five hours, it probably like instantly like heaps candy floss hitting like candy floss hitting water. <laughs> How fast should you rank up in skills on average? Note that some skills will be harder to train than others. Hmm. Let's keep it default. <laughs> Do we want anal war enables? Hell yeah. <laughs> look. Look, any kind of war is fair game. I'm in it because it's so impossible, so forbidden, so wrong and weird that I find it interesting. So, hmm. Hmm, absorption. Let's do it that way. How unpredictable should predators be? In terms of how many choices you have in your boarding and boy scenarios. Hmm. Let's just say unpredictable. How hard should it be to get out of a predator once you board? Challenging but fair. Sure, that sounds decent. Now then, looks like we've selected all our options. Let's begin. Hmm. Ooh. Surprisingly nice looking CGI hospital. What? <laughs> Doctor, doctor. Oh, nice. We got a female doctor. Nice, I enjoyed that. Thank you. Ah, uh, Skyrim. How oh, good, you're finally awake. Hey, you, you're finally awake. Where am I? You're at Silver Garden Medical Center. You've been in a coma for the better part of two months. The police found you unconscious in a ditch and brought you here. They haven't been able to identify you, however. And so far, no one's come to claim you. We'd appreciate it if you could tell us who you are, and if you have any friends or relatives you'd want to call. <sighs> Just got a little drinky drinky here. I... I can't remember. Pardon? I can't remember who I am. Oh, that's like a gazelle-looking character. I'm enjoying the CGI of this right off the bat. What's the last thing you do remember? Hmm, you think hard for a moment, but nothing comes to you. I, I can't remember anything. <sighs> That's great. Just fantastic. Look, if you're not able to pay for your stay here, and your condition is stable, then we're going to have to kick you out. What? Doctor, shouldn't we at least help them fill out some identification form? We can't let anyone go without. Do whatever you have to. Just make sure they're out of here by tomorrow. Aww. Sorry about that. Don't let Dr. Grossman bother you too much. She's got a lot on her mind and the hospital isn't the only and the hospital isn't doing that well financially right now. If you can't think of anyone who can help you by tomorrow, then you're welcome to come and stay by my place. At least for the time being. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Now, how about we fill out that form? Let's see. Name? I told you, I don't... Remember, I know. 
but we just need a name. It can be whatever you want, and we can change it later on if it needs to be. So how about it? Can you come up with a name that we can use for now? What's your name? What are we doing at text box? Okay. Nice. Okay. Nora Forgetful. Let's go with Nora Forgetful. Oh no, I've just cast myself into a war game. What have I done? Great. I'm probably going to get eaten alive now. <laughs> I can think of worse ways to go, but let's just hope we're the predator. <clears throat> Pleased to meet you, Nora Forgetful. I'm Elaine. Elaine? Yeah, Elaine. I'm sure. Okay, and what are your attributes? Hmm. <laughs> I know you've been in a coma now, but uh, what's your attributes? Hmm. Let's go for two points into luck. Apparently there's this thing called Luck of the Irish. Hmm. Yeah. Right, and your gender identity? Ooh, very cool. I enjoyed this. Thank you, Dev, for being so inclusive with this kind of stuff. Ah, uh, biologically female. Nice. You know, props to the Dev. I really appreciate that. It doesn't affect me, but I really love the fact they gave you that option. She, her. Mm-hmm. What kind of genitals do you have? Well, let's just lift up the cupboards here and see what we have. <laughs> oh, you're gonna tempt me to be a degenerate here. <laughs> mm. Oh, what the pig, what the pig. Uh, hermaphrodite. <laughs> do we have boobies? Yes, we do. <laughs> I guess that one's pretty obvious, huh? Alright, that's everything. I'll go turn this in so we get you an ID card. Why don't you rest for now? <laughs> oh, you, spend the rest, you spend the rest of the day and most of the following day resting. Later in the evening, Elaine comes to get you once your shift is over. Yahoo, I like this. Some people consider this freakish and, you know, yeah, I guess in some cases it can be, but I love this. This is an artist doing their own thing, making their own stuff, and I think it's badass. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Whoops. Wow, it does that same thing Veronica does where if you right click mouse do it goes to like a save menu. Still wanna come home with me? I don't have exactly any other options, so yeah. Alright then, just follow me. <laughs> home sweet home. It's not the biggest apartment, so you hope so I hope you're okay with sleeping on the sofa. Oh I tell I was gonna sleep in here. <laughs> No. Uh, I'm just glad to have somewhere to spend the night. Let's lay down some ground rules. Firstly, well, you don't have to pay me rent. You're going to have to buy your own groceries, which means you'll have to go get a job. I'm going to give you until Friday night to get one. Second, you're going to have to find another place to stay by the end of the month. What happens if I'm unable to get a job or move out? Then I'll eat you. <laughs> oh, is this going to end in a quick game over? Mm, yeah, let's do it then. That's my fetish. Oh, really? So, do you want me to eat you? Mm, actually, no. Then don't tempt fate. <laughs> oh, and by the way, don't forget to buy your own groceries. If I find the fridge empty, I'm gonna have to eat you instead. Speaking of which, it's dinner time. Don't worry, you're not on the menu. For now. Anyway, I'm heading to the kitchen. Feel free to join me if you'd like. Oh, this is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're in the living room. Kitchen. Ah, this CGI is fascinating. I absolutely love it. This just looks so good. Ah, uh, it's like realistic and I think it's so cool. Uh, bathroom. <laughs> bedroom. Cool, we're loud in here. <laughs> nah, let's not tempt fate. Uh, kitchen. Can you chat with her? That's what happens. Talk to Elaine. How you doing, huh? Small talk. We talk about Vor, yeah. Are you sure you want to talk about that? How do I get, avoid getting eaten? The easiest way is to be in public spaces. 
Ah, this reminds me of another game. Um, probably shouldn't mention its name, but yeah, if you go into back alleys or like places away from public, you kind of risk bad things happening. Preds aren't legally allowed to eat prey out in public. They all start allowed to do it in holy places. Second easiest is just to stay at home. Well, war is legal, break. Oof. 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 World where war is legal. That being said, you have to watch out for those you live with. <laughs> uh, how can I protect myself? Either avoid getting eaten entirely, or stock up on lifesavers. Lifesavers are pharmaceuticals designed to help the prey survive being eaten. Two most widely ones used are antacids and antipeptids. I'm not going to be able to pronounce them properly. And acids are most effective against carnivores and omnivores since they rely on powerful stomach acids to break down their food. Okay. Herbivores like me have a weak stomach. Acids and rely on powerful digestion enzymes. Okay, cool. Carnivores and omnivores digest uh, quickly. Herbivores digest slowly. Good to know. <laughs> Packets or tablets? Tablets are generally best. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Cool. <gasps> hey. Cool. Cool. This thing here, ice spec syrup. This is used in Skyrim development. Uh, whenever you instantly get swallowed, you instantly get spat up. And apparently, it's a real life item that uh causes you to vomit, induce vomiting. Nice, that's cool. Extremely expensive. Aww. The item that saves someone from being basically digested is heavily taxed by Preds. Well, thank you very much. What a fun world. <laughs> and if all else fails, you can just try and kick your way out of the stomach. Let's check out the beach. Uh Okay, let's just let's just create a slacker. I want to do something fun, so let's do something risky and talk to the shark girl. You know, in a world where war is totally legal, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, hello. Who the f are you? <laughs> Here we go. Steph needs to get some more exercise. Aw. Cantilia. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> oh, come on, let's just do it. She just laughs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop here. The rest will be available freely on my Patreon. There will also be a link to the game and to the devs Patreon. Special thanks to PKB101 for the request to play the game. And this was a very fun game to play. I love these kind of CGI graphics. The way the background's like computer generated but looks believably realistic enough. The characters are all wacky, wild and colourful. And I think one thing I thought was very clever from the dev was the speed difference between herbivores, omnivores, and carnivores. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for tuning in, of course. And for sure, I hope you had a happy Christmas and soon-to-be happy new year. <laughs> thanks. Bye for now.